Alright, this is Fat B Man, and I'm going to show you how to build a box. I'm going to show you how to set your saw up. Something going to be real quick. First thing you want to do, get you some scrap wood. I'm using poplar today. What you want to do, this is a wobble blade, which turns back, it just wobbles back and forth. That's why it's called a wobble blade or a dating blade. And what you want to do is you want to put a rabbit for your frame rest down the sides for the box to be a rabbit and joint it'll fit just like that so you have to thin this out to three eighths now i'm going to show you how i do it maybe it's not like everybody else but this is a fat bait b man's way turn the saw on just put your hand here on your fighter and push it through hold it down get your other board Alright, now we're going to set the height. Now, I'm not using a tape measure. I'm using the field way. Now, I'm going to put this up here just like so. It should fit like a pair of hands. And you see right here how the height is wrong. The board is three quarters, but it's not fitting right. And the reason I'm going to show you how to do it this way is because if you buy wood from any of your stores, retail, Lowe's, Home Depot, the thickness of this wood is going to vary from 11 sixteenths to 3 quarters to 13 sixteenths. So that tape measure is not going to do you no good measuring this, and then the next board you get is a different thickness. So if you set your saw up according to the thickness, now I'm going to get my, my adjustment, the wrench, my handle busted 30 years ago, and I'm going to bring the blade up just a little bit there, and I'm going to check it, see if I've got it the right height. Put it on here, I'm going to run it again. I'm only doing one side. All I'm trying to do is set the height for that blade. Shut it off, that way you'll be able to hear. Now I'm going to lay it down and do the hand test. See, I, co I come down pretty good, but it's still, you can see there's a, a lump there. I'm going to take the adjustment and we're going to bring the blade up some more. We want to get it to where you rub your fingers across there and it's smooth and it fits right. Little bit here, little there. Once you got this all set up, you can progress along pretty fast. Once we build this box, then I'm going to show you how to put them handles in. Now look at here. See, I'm flush right now, but I haven't set the width. You see right there, I'm, I'm not right. That board needs to go way over here. So what I'm going to do, the way. I'm going to take my daddy blade and I'm going to get it to the farthest point. I'm going to bring my fence up. I'm going to just touch it to the outside of the further most tooth. That's going to give me a starting point. Now I'm going to take the tape measure and I'm going to measure. These lands in here are always going to be parallel to the saw. So I'm going to measure right at the blade, and that's telling me it's 18 and 15 sixteenths. So what I'm going to do is make sure the blade is running square. Adjust this up, just like so. It doesn't matter how long it takes to adjust it, get it right the first time. Now, that should give me a three-quarter cut there at the right height. I'm going to put my miter in here. That's going to keep it from a kickback. All right, now what we've got is we've got a three-quarter cut here. What I want to do is see if I got a good fit. I'm going to take it, stick it on here like this. I don't know. Can you see that there? How it is? 
I'm pretty flush right there. The fingers tells you it's right. Now, all I'm going to do is take the board and we'll turn it around. Stick it in here like so. I'm going to check this side and make sure that it fits right. I'm, this side here is hanging over just a hair. What we're going to do, we're going to move that fence that way because we're hanging over. You don't have to be perfect on these bee boxes. I'm going the extra mile to show new beekeepers how to set their stuff up. You don't have to be a cabinet man to get these things right. I've never had bees complain. They don't leave the boxes because they don't like quarters. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it this side and then I've got enough for three boxes here and I'm going to go through the whole process. Show you how quick three boxes. You can double check your, your measurement now according to the feel. Right now I've got a nice smooth fit. If you can see that there, it's, it's right on. Okay, so take this side here. This has already been done. I'll double check it. Set these over here. That's the first one I have done. These are your end pieces. Take it out, turn it around, hold your hand down on it. You want to make sure you get a hold down on it, it doesn't push up on you. I'm only going to do three boxes. But usually in two hours, I can knock 50 boxes out. I'm going slow today because I'm running my mouth. When you run your mouth, it gets in the way. Now these, big, these videos here, they're basically instructional videos. If you're watching me right now, you're getting a free lesson. Go to my webpage, click the donate button, keep the videos coming. I'm taking time out from other students to give you a personalized tour. Now, we got the end of our boxes, we're wrapping it up. We need a frame rest. The frame rest is where this frame is going to sit in here. There's no need to change the setting of the blade. What I'm going to do, first when we did this, we set this blade to outermost piece here. Now I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to bring my fence to it. Instead of the outermost piece of that board, I want to turn the blade to where it's on the short side. Right there. And now I'm going to move my, my saw over here just like this. Right there. I'm on the inside of that tooth right there. I'm going to snug this up a little bit. I'm going to get my measurement because of what I want is this to be parallel with these lands. Okay. This shouldn't be a, just a few minute setup. I'm going on the slow side to try to show you what we're doing here. Alright, so what I'm going to do my miter in here. It's going to keep your kickbacks. 
Now this is the scrap piece that I started with. You notice there's a big knot here. You could basically use that, but I would not run my rabbit on the knot. See this side, you're nice and clean. We'll use that side. We're setting up anyhow. I'll end up using this box. Put your hand down. Put up strong. Now once you got that, what you want to do is double check it. See how I laid that right up there? Right now, I don't have enough clearance. I want at least three-eighths up above this frame. Because if another, you set another box on top, you see how close that is right there? If the queen comes across the top of this frame, and you don't have enough clearance here for that frame to set down, it's going to kill that queen. So let's add a little more depth to it. I'm doing this in stages so that you can see on this video how to set this thing up. And then I won't be flooded with these emails. What did you do here and what did you do there? Make sure I'm running square. Okay. Now, back to the test piece. The nice thing about these learning videos is you can rewind them. My wife's tried to rewind me a few times. It don't work. Now you see I've got a little more clearance there. Not quite enough. If you look, I'm barely running a quarter of an inch. I'm doing this in steps so that you can see how to do it. Now I'm going to take and come back and set this up a little bit deeper. Now only I just do this in one good step. See, I'm getting my, my, uh, my ripping fence here. I'm getting it square. Now I'm going to do the thing. And I'm not running them all. I'm just running one to show you how to set it up. Put that hand up there. Just saw. Get your frame. Set it in. Now look. You see the distance right here? You've got 3 h clearance. What this also does, you take your hive tool and you stick it in here and you're jamming and this gets all boogered up here. The sides over here gets boogered up. Now, over a period of years, you have time. You can drop it down a 64th or 32nd and just shave it and then get a, a nice square box again. It all named puckered up there. Now that end is basically done. Now I'm going to go ahead and run these. Then we're going to assemble. I'll show you, there's no big thing in this assembly. Always check your board, get your best one that you're going to put the rabbit. See, now I got a knot here. That might pop out, so this is more clear. I'm going to use that side. Put your hand up. If you want to build this particular box, you can get the plans right off the, the web page. Now that data blade is getting dull. It's probably 20 some years old. It's been sharpened once or twice. This is lumber. We cut on the sawmill here. And this was cut about three months, two, three months ago. Okay, shut the saw off. 